Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Survival Map. Hi. Sorry. <clears throat> wow. So, today we are hiking Skidaway State Park. Yeah, Skidaway Island State Park. Skidaway Island State Park. This is a very simple trail. It's like paved, little bridges, but it's only an hour from the house. It gives us out in the woods hiking. Um, the wife has been hassling me nonstop for some woods time. Do you have my backpack on? It's supposed to be cooler because we're it's October 26th, but it's like 80, what, 81, 82 degrees? Yeah. Okay. I love oh, these little things. These little libraries. Wish more people would put more stuff in them. So, um. No bicycles. So very interesting, even though we're on this very simple day hike, day hike, I still took my backpack and still have Hello Puppy. Crazy stuff might happen. Might get attacked by a crocodile. What? Crocodile. Why? I don't know. Gators can't attack other gators? What is that thing? Gators can't attack other gators. Look at that thing crawling on the mud or whatever. You see it? Is that a crab? It's a crab. It looked really, really, really. A series of crab is. Look at all the crabs. Yeah. Wow, they're all over. It looks really, really. Looks funny. like bait. Hey, look. See your shadows? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take a picture the other day when we were walking on the beach. So. Even though we're uh, just taking a simple day hike, still took the backpack, took my one day. What's the, what's the, what's the name of this brand again? Marmont. My Marmont Marmot. My Marmot day pack. It's got the hammock, tarp, um, ignition, basically a, a small baby blue big lighter. A cooler backpack? Yeah. No, we don't. It's one of the things we need. Yeah, I mean, I like... It's heavy, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's just it's digging into my arm. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. No, no, no. I'm, I'm okay. I just... Silly wife. It has to be on, to our, on our to-do list. I don't know if you have you carry everything, baby. We do need a cool... Do they even make cooler backpacks? Mm. They if have they to, we would... right? They make yeah. that. Hey, you guys. He's a big old fat. Comment down below your favorite cooler backpack. If not, I will get to sewing and make straps, put straps on this, or like buy one and construct one myself. They and gotta make one. I think so. So it's been raining off and on, so it's a little murky, murky which is why I didn't wear my nicer murals today. I wore my trail, trail runners. What? Well, I mean, what? I'm my well, you know, they're gonna get dirty. Just clean them. Um, it smells marshy mm -hmm. a little briny a little marshy and it is 81 degrees currently no wind in the woods but we are hiking towards beautiful water uh, it's supposed to be beautiful water i don't think it's gonna be but there should be a nice breeze there anything to add babe yes, sir. what do these little markers mean like there's d right there do you know what that means because i think these are campsites and they said no camping is available, so they probably just said that because of the rain. I wonder if I can take a tray here. What's this Red Baron? Red Baron Camping? Red Baron Survival? 
That's a cool spot. Pretty cool. The Living Shore. Only one left. Yeah. I get so big, that's right. They're Norwich Terriers or Norfolk Terriers? That was for you, babe. <laughs> when you said that to me, you said five, four, three, and like... Timber! I'm not, well, I lost a mosquito, like, landed on my head. And so I was like, oh, I'm having... Well, I got a buff for you. You want one? Oh, no, no. It'll be harder. Just a little. Sun though? Well, uh, we're about to walk, we're about to be in twilight hour. Put on my watch, we've been hiking for 21 minutes. And I started it late, so. This is just really pretty with the sun, the white hitting everything in the marsh and the trees. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. So you like being eaten? It's right here. Excited about a uh, cheesy hammock dinner. <laughs> yes, I did grab my flashlight, right? Uh -huh. <sighs> I don't be saying it. But... <laughs> <laughs> this is for the YouTube channel. <laughs> like, you guys ever just walk along? And you know the sun's setting. You got about two hours left, and you're like, it's just a day hike. But did I grab my flashlight? Uh, I better have grabbed my flashlight. That's why I keep that super sexy whatever O-ring one you got for me on my keychain. Yeah, you got it on you? Uh, we didn't take the car. So you don't have yours either. <laughs> uh, if you were in my I'm like, car. pretty sure I've got mine. Yeah. Well, yeah, in the car, which is nowhere near where we are. No, that's what I mean. I would have it if we I were... got a survival kit in the car. <laughs> right. Definitely. We could live out here. I just mean if we had been in my car, I would have it because that's why I did it. Because I was like, I would have a cabin on me, you know. But hikers, campers, survivalists, always make sure you eat before you hike. You have to shakes because I didn't eat enough. And not that we're super exerting ourselves, but you know. You have to eat enough. Do you hear my stomach? I hope it's on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> What? Look at her. Stunning gazelle. Does that make me a lion?
<laughs> Come on, baby. Put your phone down, sexy. I know, I know, I apologize. Yeah, stop, stop, stop. It's my hobby, it's my habit, it's my passion, photography. I think it's a good shot, this. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Do the pants. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, we are at Skidaway Island State Park. And we were hiking one of their, what are we on, the Avion Trail right now? I think so. Off of... Started off the of Sandpiper. Off of Sandpiper, yeah. Came across these. These are their Pioneer Camping. Right? And I, I wanted to record this for everybody who doesn't know. But this is exactly what you'll see at the Appalachian Trail. If you're hiking in that and you stop at any of the shelters. Except they're typically raised about two feet or more off the ground to stop from flooding. But that's all they are. They're these little shelters that are just like this. Um, sometimes, you know, to stop rain and stuff, these, these areas will be boarded up. But they're literally just, you know, wood cabin-like structures. Um, spiders, bugs, squirrels, birds, bats, grill, and fresh water. Um, at the uh, Appalachian Trail, there's no fresh water from a spigot, per se, but there's definitely like fresh water spots, streams, springs, all that fun stuff. You can carry like a live straw, whatever, for this purpose is anyway, right? Not a live straw, but you definitely carry water filtering equipment. Oh, like uh, the platypus. Yeah, I use the gravity feed system, it's my favorite, because, well, let's be honest, I'm lazy. And we're hiking smart. and exerting a ton of energy. And really, your only options are a gravity feed or a squeeze, where you have to exert energy squeezing. Squeezing is faster. I'll tell you that right now. But gravity feed, if I fill it up with water, I hang it on a tree, and then I sit down. I was going to say, you can do other things while it's doing its job. I relax. Yeah. I cook my food. I read a book. That's not true. I don't have a book. <laughs> Play on my phone for a minute. Do whatever I'm doing while my gravity feed system takes five minutes or less to fill my water bottles so wow beautiful cardinal yeah. Ooh, can't get them on the camera it won't show up so water filtration squeeze system or uh, gravity feed I personally gravity feed but hey do what fits you do what makes you happy and uh, hiking's about comfort yes to figure out what that means for you. Make it happen, Captain. Trail's pretty nice. It's so hot as the Jesus though. Let's see if you can feel the temperatures dropping some, but Hi, Cardinal. Hello. Ooh, this is a red hell hawk down here. Okay, red hell hawks are over somewhere. But uh I wonder if that's part of the Okay. So I can't tell you. What will make hiking the most comfortable for you? Because you're different than me. But I can't give you a bunch of ideas, options. I'll tell you what I think you'd like. I like recommendations even. Yeah. Really looking forward to a cooler backpack. Think about it. You and the wife, you and a buddy, one of you carries the beer, one of you carries the tent and stuff. <laughs> and the steaks. Oh God, I miss hiking with steaks. Mm, gotta do that. When we go to Wolf Laurel, we're taking steaks. Yes, sir. Shout out to my buddy Law, my son Will, my apprentice Paul. That was uh, one of the better memories that I have. And I'm very thankful I was able to share it with you guys. Law, if you ever see this or hear this, man, I got your plaque I made for you. Um, you're the only one that didn't collect. 
Oh, and and it's a surprise, so you don't even know it exists. Mm -hmm. So this is a spoiler about a gift that you doesn't know existed. Yes, and we miss you very much. Hope you're doing well in life, brother. And uh, yeah, we're gonna continue our hike. We will check in later. Stop, get us still. Hey. Picnic, lunch, supper, whatever. Lunch? <laughs> and yes, my husband is a genius. Yes, you are. He brought a hammock. I think that's amazing. And I love that you think ahead. And life is always fun and interesting. That is one of the things I love about you, by the way. I don't like being bored. You're never boring. Yeah. Never, ever, ever boring. Yeah. I, I know, I know. Uh, it doesn't always excite me, but you're never boring. <laughs> and Maybe. you've helped me be a better person. That's, we that's are. amazing. Set up. Yay! Bam, bam, bam. Hammock time. We see a husband. My man. Back on the trail after a sweet, sweet dinner break. Mm -hmm. Popped up the hammock. Had a little picnic. On a two-story built structure, man-made structure. Okay. Yeah, we're looking the marsh, the water and all that. Um, it is the twilight hour. I just wanted to get some some nice perspective of hiking just before dusk. And we're not supposed to be on the trails past dark. So we're kind of moving at a decent pace. Trying to make sure we get off the trail as close to dark as possible. We have a flashlight just in case we get a tad behind schedule. <laughs> but we should be gravy. Yeah, okay. All right, so this, this section's for the hikers who want to hike. The uh, newbie hikers and all that stuff. Uh, all right, so it's this twilight hour for photography. Everything the should look... Hour. The golden hour? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is the golden hour for photography. Everything should look amazing. Anyways, right now, if you're hiking, this is my biggest tip for, for hikers, new hikers. Right now, you should already be set up with your tent or hammock, and you should have your firewood for the night, and your water bottles full. If not, by this this moment in daylight, 30 minutes left of daylight, maybe 45 minutes left of daylight, if you haven't, you need to stop immediately and... Uh, stealth camp wherever you are because you have 45 minutes to you set no, up your gear is going to be a pain in the butt like <clears throat> it's so dangerous that's assuming you're a rookie uh pro hikers or people who hike uh all the time even you even once you get used to it a lot you can night hike some because you know what you're doing you know, you've sit, broke down and set up your gear a hundred times, literally a hundred times. So, any problems you come into, you'll figure out immediately. It's not a big deal. I think one of the bigger dangers, too, about um, doing it at night is you won't be able to see if there's trails of critters, like bears and stuff like that, around where you are, first of all. But also, widow makers. You know Huge I mean? deal in the widow makers. And you got your flashlight and your headlamp and all that stuff, but... I'm still trying to look through tree limbs up with a flashlight or whatever. Yeah, exactly. You could just not. You could just avoid all of that if you would just set up your stuff 45 minutes before sunset. You know, right now you should be sitting down and relaxing. I have no idea who that was. Two of them. 
Three of them, huh? I don't know there. It's cool looking. Yeah, so we, just so you don't laugh and be like hypocrite, are uh, just on a little day hike. Little three mile, well this section long is only three miles. We're on a little three mile day hike. We will be at the car before dark or just at dusk. I've got a flashlight just in case. I'm not camping tonight, unfortunately. For my survivalist out there, or while still watching this, I do have my Marymount backpack with hammock and a, a big lighter and some fire starters and my Mora. Just in case, you know, I break a leg and can't get help. And my, and the, yeah, I've got my, my folder on as well, but you know, and the cell phone doesn't work and seven catastrophes in a row happen because you know i fell down a cliff and broke my phone and everything else so still got my survival gear on me Ooh. good afternoon or evening that must be nice be able to run through this every day oh, kind of jealous no, it's not boring, it's natural. It's beautiful, not crowded. Squirrel assassins. <laughs> no, they only attack you if they think you they if you can understand them. Rick and Morty reference. My pants are falling off. So what am, what is this? Oh my god, my heart rate's finally showing up. Well, look. So I'm hiking on this app on my Samsung smartwatch app, right? I did the workout hike feature, and the heart rate didn't show up for the longest time. Now it's finally showing up. Read 120, which is good for me. Um, but we've been hiking for an hour and 27 minutes, and I paused it for our dinner break. But it's got no mileage recorded. I'm be kind of frustrated. I mean, I know it's about six miles, but it's weird when the only half the app technology works. Well, it can't be a GPS issue because. Yeah, we got signal, and it works on Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter Go and Pokemon Go work, by the way, in this state park. See the symbols? <laughs> means we're on the trail. The not the Appalachian Trail. Makes me sad. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Is that edible? Survivors. Comment down below if you can eat this and not die. Ooh, it's wildlife. Yeah, squirrel. Big ass red squirrel. <sighs> La. Okay, signing out. Gonna enjoy my hike. This damn camera away. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Ooh, that's